Hello, this is Morgan Freeman, and I want you to tune in Sunday night for Who's the Ross? And uh, they're going to have a special guest, Josh Robert Thompson. And uh, I, I don't know who that is, but I hear he's very talented at doing voices and things like that. Um, plus, he's pretty cute, from what I understand. Thank you for coming over to my mom's house. This is uh, Josh Robert Thompson. Thank you, buddy, for, for joining us today. Hey, Aaron, I appreciate it, man. It's great to be here. I love the title of your show as well. Uh, who's the Who's the Ross? That's Angela, right, baby. Angela. Uh, obviously. Who's you're getting being... a cease and desist soon? Yeah, you will. Well, I will. One of us is going to. Probably. Hopefully the both of us. Yeah, I got one once, but we'll talk about that later. Oh, I would love to talk. Cease and desist is, I want to frame one right over here. That's, that's like, that's the goal, you know? It's the goal. It is. Name and light cease and desist behind you in the office. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, sir, are a master of impressions for those uninitiated. Wow. Morgan Freeman, Robert De Niro, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Would you like to hear my Morgan Freeman voice? <laughs> you are not talking to me, all right? No, you're not. What you're doing is you're speaking at a loud volume and you're spitting food out of your pie hole. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, fantastic. Craig, how are you? This is wonderful. And they would put me in all this makeup and the muzzle suit and yeah, how are you? Jeff Goldblum. Oh yes, I gotta be Jeff Goldblum, sure, sure. Oh uh, yes, it'll be fun because uh well, yes, because oh on his hand. Oh, I touched my face and now uh, I've got uh, coronavirus, yes. Oh well oh boy. Um so Josh, that's what that we're impression do. is so pure that I'm not sure I'll ever impersonate someone else again because um, I think that you just, <laughs> I think well, you just broke, you broke yeah. our show. Well, it feels good. Feels good. Yes. Yeah. Well, yes, because, uh, because uh, here on the show, it's uh, 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 who's, who's, who's the Ross. Yes, because uh, uh, Tony, Tony Danza. Uh, a great show, yes. Who's the boss? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Wonderful show, wonderful show. Will they get together? Won't they? Who knows? Seven seasons. Uh, I don't think they ever had uh, intercourse, but uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I, I really am enjoying. You know, listen, I got, I got really sort of exhausted with the impressions. To be honest with you, I get it. We it was we, a long yeah. period where I was like, you know what, man? Nah. And even now, uh, listen. I've been doing Family Guy for over a decade now. And when they call, of course I'll do it. I'll do it. Of course. Oh, we need you tomorrow. No problem. No problem. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? But I love it. I love working with them. And it's a great, I mean, look, it's a great show to be a part of. But the things that excite me now are weirder impressions. And Jeff Goldblum, I've seen other people do it. I haven't seen that. And I I didn't I didn't purposely, by the way, I didn't purposefully sit down and say, I'm going to now do Jeff Goldblum. It's just very organic. It's just I I, I, I right there. It's like you're you're catching a burp. You're gonna burp and then uh oh. There it is. Yes, you get quiet and oh and um He's like feels, no, he's like a different he's like walk in, but no one has because everyone's done. Yeah. Standard. Walking, yeah. Now you you've got the next. That's like the next next. He's so yeah. idiosyncratic. But I like it, and I like weird impressions. I like you know John Carradine is a. You know one of the great horror actors of our time. I think John Carradine was probably in seven thousand movies, and by the end he was this withered old man who famously had these crumpled arthritic hands, and he had a long face like this. And he would talk like this, I'm John Kennedy, and oh, yes, over there. <laughs> you know, that's a weird reference, but for me, I, I love doing that voice. My my philosophy is, and I and I did post this, I don't know, a little while ago, is just, look, just be weird, you know? But you got to do what you want. Like, you got to, you just got to make the things you want to make. And And my stuff is weird. It's just weird, and I like that. You talked about appreciating obscure. I'd be curious to see, to hear your obscure presidents. Yeah. The president is is sort of the most memorable impression. We, we yeah. talked about it before with uh, uh, George Bush Sr. for Dana Carvey. Yeah. He, these are led to Bill, Bill Clinton for, for Phil Hartman. Yeah. Um, how many presidential impressions can you do? You do the current one. We won't say the name because it's like Beetlejuice. Oh, right. Yeah, so uh, on Family Guy about a year ago – is it over a year ago now maybe? I don't know. I did, I did – uh, 
the guy. I did the guy. Yeah, the the pumpkin. It was uh, very, it was very, very fun. You know, it's great. It's so great to be here. I love, I love the show. Who's the Ross? Great, great program. <laughs> oh, good no. people. Very good guy. Very good guy. He's, uh, you know, he's great. He's great. Um, yeah, I, I there. I finally found a plug I didn't want. Oh Lord! It's such a great show. So <laughs> good. So good. Um, he's a very bad. He's bad. He's a bad, bad guy. Not a oh, good guy. <laughs> he, he turned on you. He turned on you. Yeah. As he will. Yeah, I don't. I don't China, know him. Great I don't China. know him. I never listened to the show. <laughs> I don't know him. I never said that. I don't know him. He's a very bad guy. You know. I don't know. I don't know. The next question. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, do you uh, have any other presidential impressions? No, you had written some names, and I thought it would be funny. Like they're really they're presidents that like. Sure, and we all know. So you know, we all know that Bill Clinton. You know, he's got yeah, thumb. You know, yeah. not gonna do it. We know the like. Sure. <laughs> you know, choked on the pretzel sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, I, there are so many presidents that I feel like don't have the great impression. Right. I thought I could rattle off a few yeah. of the obscure. This is a game that we're going to call. I think in the the uh, the Simpsons did this in, to some degree, at least in title. Lesser known presidents. Okay, uh, great. So here we go for you from Cleveland. Can we hear? I think a big man. Uh, mm -hmm. Two non consecutive terms. Two non consecutive terms. Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I, I know this one. I know this one because again, I am from Cleveland. And we all have to learn everything about Grover Cleveland. So this is my impression. I've worked on it for years. This is my impression of uh, Grover Cleveland. Kind of a kind of a big man like this, right? Hey, hey, what, where, hey, what time? Where are you guys going? Are you guys going down to the, the game tomorrow? Hey, where? Hey, are you guys going down to the? Hey, the boat the boat's starting to sink. The hey, the Cuyahoga River's on fire. Do you guys? <laughs> hey. I think that's I think that's Taft. Wow. Oh, that's, that's Taft. Pretty, oh, not Taft. Sorry. That's Grover Cleveland. That's dead on. That's dead okay, on. Okay, that's dead on. That's dead on. Had you ever heard a recording of Grover Cleveland? I don't I don't need to. That's listen, no. that you what you just heard, folks, was the most accurate uh, Grover wow. Cleveland. Wow. Now, Nobody there probably better. are recordings of him out there, but I don't think nah. that there's any Millard Fillmore out there. Now, yeah, that's, I that's the president that's the, with the best name. Can we hear which, what you Which think? president which president was Fillmore? Somewhere between nine and twelve, because I don't nine have the notes. I just helps me with the era. Era, okay. yeah. You know, I, there's going to be a few 1800 presidents here. Now, for okay. me, I would probably do any of them as either a prospector or like a British aristocrat. Sure, I feel like there's sure. two la only two lanes. But go ahead, you're okay. the master. I. What's his name? Fillmore. Millard Leonard? Fillmore. Millard. Millard. Oh, of course, I know Millard. Millard. Hi, I'm uh, Millard Fillmore, and I'm President Fillmore. And uh, well, as you all know. Uh, where the uh, Cuyahoga River's on fire again. Uh, that's the scenario. And by the way, the Cuyahoga River was on fire a lot back then. A lot, a lot. So, so all these presidents, this is great. They all stopped through Cleveland Yeah. when the river was on fire. That's Well, that's my point of reference. So at some point, yeah. Ah, oh, it's certainly nice to be here in uh, Cleveland. I noticed the, uh, lots of bright people and bright lights. Even your river is very bright. <laughs> I love the the spirit of Cleveland is full of full of fire. I don't know. That's that's again. That's extremely accurate. This is great. And the scenarios to deal with them is what is re really wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Ulysses S. Grant. You know, he probably set some things on fire. Perhaps he lit the old Cuyahoga. Big Beard. Obviously, yeah. we know him from the Civil War. Was sure. president uh, one after. Uh, Lincoln, that was Andrew Johnson, then, then right. Grant. Let's hear Grant. a little of uh, the general. You're going to be surprised by this. A lot of people really? didn't know that he sounded like this. So it's going to be jarring for you at first, but stay with me on this. Okay. Hey, uh, the, uh, hey this, uh, this war, you know, it's gone on for a long time. The, uh, oh, oh, the, oh, is that... Is that one of our men? Oh, the river's on fire. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. That is a very accurate uh, grant. And you know what's great about this is our audience can see all these black and white photos, and we, we punch in violin music. Mm hmm So it's really oh, perfect. Oh. oh, this is like, so this is like a. Uh, uh, this is Ken this? Burns. Ken Burns. This is a Ken Burns. Yeah. Well, let me, oh, let me try a little more then. Hey, it's, but it, oh, it's. 
you know, it's been a tough winter, you know, out here with the war and all that, and the, and, and the, and the famine, the, the rations are scarce, and, uh, holy sh... Oh, did you see... Hey, Mark! Marky! Oh, did you see this? What the fuck? The river's on fire! Oh! Grant. Wow, Ulysses is great. It's incredible. We have to close with perhaps... Yeah the most clown-like president. Mm -hmm. And that's saying a lot, considering the current uh, commander in Queef. Very um, bad person. I told you, this guy, you know, I don't know who he is, but he calls me a clown, you know? He calls me a clown. <laughs> this is a guy who left Los Angeles to go to Portland. This is a very bad, very bad decisions. You know, make these decisions. Oh, that's... Very bad. <laughs> So um, who's now? Who's the who's the big? What's this last? Martin one? Van Buren. Yeah. Just look at these chops, these 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 muttons that he's got here. Now this guy's a very early on, you know, uh, early eighteenth, eighteen uh, hundreds rather president. Okay. Can we just see a little? Hear Martin, a little? Martin Van Buren. All right. Yeah. Okay, Martin Van Buren. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> this is Martin Van Buren. I'm just letting you know who I am. God damn it. Hey, I'm. Don't you look at me like that. I'm making a mental list of everything you've said to me. Good Lord, holy cats. Did you see that? Yes, I think the devil himself has come to Cleveland. The damn, the river's on fire. The river's on fire. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going, I'm going to put it out with my own urine. That's a little known fact about Martin Van Buren. Wow. He, he peed Did on you know anything that? that came in his way. He just peed on it. <laughs> but it's, you can find it. It's somewhere in the archive. I know you can probably find it. You just Google it. Um, Martin Van Buren famously put out one of many uh, fires on the Cuyahoga River with his own urine. So. There was a speech. There was a speech about that. Can we hear that speech? That yeah, I, think, is, I think he actually is the first actual audio recording in history. Ever. Okay. Ever. And as many of you know, I took it upon myself to save the people of Cleveland from imminent peril. I know some of you say, uh, some of my enemies say it was wrong for me to pull my Johnson. That's a little joke there on one of the, pull my Johnson out of my, not you, I'm talking about my privates. Pulled my own privates out and I urinated on the river because I needed to protect the people of Cleveland from the fiery pits of hell. That's actual audio. That was incredible. That was that was a yeah. match. Wow. That was thank thank you so much for just getting that um, out of your you archives. Know. I think it you could hear the Fisher Price um, <laughs> grain to it, which yeah, I really added. Right. Yeah. And by the way, you know, you really nailed. You know, a man who was born and died in Kinderhook, New York. You can tell the accent is well. You yes, that's well. That's pure thing, Kinderhook. That's what you. That's what they sounded like then. Of that's course, what, no, understandable. I mean, for right. a man that was born in Kinderhook in 1782, as you know, you don't. 1782 Kinderhook uh, folk aren't speaking the way they speak now. No, not at all. No. That's how they talk, man. The Welcome to Kinderhook. There is no longer a Kinderhook. Right, exactly. It's, gone. it's just gone. Because Martin Van Buren uh, <laughs> urinated on it. I re that's, and that I remember from my, ta from my well, formative years. What, what I found out was later that uh, Martin Van Buren. Buren had urinated on so many fires, you know, he considered himself a bit of a, a fireman, um, that he eventually began to piss fire, and that is what happened at Kinderhook. He Cuyahoga River. set it ablaze. Martin it. Van Uren. Martin Van Uren. There it is. There it is. That's what they called him in closed circles. They, <laughs> there goes that Martin Van oh, and Uren. Was, and he was so mad when, can, can, I, can we hear, we have audio tape of him, really hated that nickname. I know some of you folks have been going around spreading this terrible nickname, this this evil moniker, calling me Martin Van Uren. Well, at least my last name isn't Johnson. That's all I got to say about that. Powerful. Wow, incredible stuff. That's it, that we could. The Powerful. Fisher Price too is is so. I actually felt like I could hear him peeing in the background of that. Yeah, tape. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. That was, there's no greater way to end an interview than by uncovering the rare recordings of Martin Van Uren, um, whose ghost will attack me in my sleep tonight by pee. <laughs> What's ghost pee like, you think? Ghost pee? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, it, it, well, the thing about ghost pee is you don't have to cower from it because it just kind of goes right through you. It's kind of like a, 
you at first oh, you're like, oh man, I'm gonna get, and then you go, oh. oh. You wake up and you're like, oh. oh. Oh, it's kind of a nice. It's like when you have a nightmare that's so real, and then you wake up and realize that it, none of it's true. That's just the, the moment. It's like it's like when a clown has a bucket of what appears to be water, and then it ends up just being confetti. Okay. That's what ghost urine feels like. It feels like clown confetti. A clown like Martin Van Uren. Martin Van Uren. He went on the road. This makes no sense. I don't think historically, but he did go on the road with uh, Taft, and it was uh, it was uh, it was Ta urine Taft's urine dad. and Shaft. It was Taft's father. Shaft. It was it was Shaft uh, father was, Papa, Papa Shaft. Shaft. Shaft and Uren were their were their uh, vaudeville name. Shaft and Uren. Yeah. It, <laughs> but. An incredible act that that um, I know for me, you know, there's Craig Ferguson, Johnny Carson, and uh, Urine shaft and, and urine. urine and shaft, yeah. Oh, you, you I always heard it was shaft. You it's urine and shaft. I'm sorry. That was a long stand. That well, was they, a big you know fight. What it was? They they replaced there was long rumor that the first shaft died. Right. And then upon being replaced, they they swapped the names they swapped. position. Um always sort of breaks a, up the group, yeah. The Paul always. McCartney of his day, yeah. Yeah, the Martin and Lewis of their time. Yeah. Howard Shaft. What did Howard Taft sound like again? Was he? I don't know. Was that Howard Taft? No, you did. You did a real weenie because the idea. Well, you did Cleveland, but but you 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 said how it sounds similar to Ty. It was a surprise because they're big men. Right. So, you know, play against type. Hey, Dorn. I'm. Hey. No, how no, you no. Doing? That was no. That was. No, that, that was, was Martin. <laughs> that I'm was so, Fillmore. That was Fillmore. I'm so Robert sorry. Cleveland just had a high pitch like. And no, he's like, oh, what are you guys doing over there? Hey. <laughs> Hey, Don. Also don't from Kinderbrook. All, actually, actually, all presidents had to be born in Kinderbrook. Correct. It's like the Dalai Lama. Well, you couldn't. You had to be of a certain age, uh, obviously, had to be born in the United States. Mm -hmm. kin in and Kinderbrook. you had to be from Kinderhook. Kinderbrook, yeah. Kinderbrook. And Kinderhook. Yeah. It was actually called Kinderhook. Originally. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I'm just helping uh, you. I'm just trying to give you. That's the history I know. I just want everyone. No, to and it's true. It. it was just. It was that they had invented the the hook for jackets, mm -hmm. but uh, that had been converted into murderous hooks that Jack the right. Ripper used, and they didn't want to be associated. No. So um, th they decided Kinder Book was a lot better of a cause seems well, literate. Which funny thing is that actually no one could read in Kinder Book uh, until the early 1900s. That's true, and thank thank God for Martin Van Uren who came along and. Set the town ablaze with his own uh, waste. Yes, he did. This radio program that we just did, this old-timey radio program, was, was one of uh, a true career highlight. It's really fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you. I know. We should have opened. You ever, you ever do a, a program and you go, you know, we just should have opened with a bizarre uh, lesser-known president. Every time. Every time. This interview, I feel like you just, just switch it. Just put this at the front and then everything else. And thanks to editing, folks, I can.